So, uh, hello, Tiska, ma'am. Welcome to Bollywood Bull. And how are you doing? How's everything going with you? As as well as can be expected in the circumstances in the lockdown. Uh, meaning, it's not the lo- lockdown really, but in the given circumstances, it's uh, mm-hmm. no complaints. Mm-hmm. So, coming straight to the short film uh, Roo Baru. Uh, uh, if you could tell me what was the germ of this film and uh, like how did you go about it? Then from there, on? how did you do, uh, build on it? So uh, I. This idea started uh, many years ago when I was reading, uh, watching a Meryl Streep interview on YouTube, where she says that um, the usefulness of uh, women uh, in the medium of cinema mm-hmm. is largely for their um, for their sexuality quotient, for the quotient of their uh, good looks. Um, and she said that as women start uh, coming to a point where uh, there are younger more attractive women available then uh, the usefulness of the woman starts reducing on uh, uh, the way that they are used on camera so which means that um, their screen time starts reducing and they become fringe characters mm-hmm. and i thought if meryl streep is saying this then what about the rest of the world you know lesser mortals who you know not as accomplished as the world's best actress mm-hmm. so i started thinking about that and um, and then it was echoed by uh, anina gupta and by so many other people who said that are those the only stories that you want women to tell about their youth and charm and their beauty what about the other billions of qualities that women have mm-hmm. so that was the idea for the film mm-hmm. Okay, so will it be safe to say that uh, this Meryl Streep interview club with uh, Nina Gupta ma'am's interviews and all uh, was this the sole reason that you uh, know sort of pushed you to take up direction with 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 such a with such a topic? Well, the sole reason, obviously, I experienced uh, some of these realities myself. I, a lot of my colleagues have faced it. It's right there. It's all around us. Ageism in in the business is a common knowledge. And some of the lines in Rubaru, uh, where where they talk about the fact that plastic surgery ki brand ambassador ab bhabhi mummy ke role karegi ya reality show ki judge banegi, those are aimed at what people assume to be the reality, and that is the reality. That's what we were seeing around us. Um, accomplished actresses from the uh, late nineties, two thousands are now judges on reality shows, and that is a fact. So that's how you you use them. Uh, that the fact that they may have a lot of acting still left in them, uh, a lot of lot more experience of life, a lot more richness, yes. is not something that is uh, given so much of uh, credence to. It's only how uh, uh, young and fresh you are mm-hmm. that, uh, and that's that that fulfills the need of a summer romance. Mm-hmm. I understand that, but you can't just have summer romances. Mm-hmm. That can't be any kind of film that you're making. There's like a Whole lot of other kind of stories. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So, so I, 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 I wanted to sort of open up the idea of making other kind of stories as well, not just this kind of story. Uh, do you think that the film industry as a whole it exhibits a problematic behavior towards uh, its female artists in general? Because uh, it says that uh, in general, uh, the film industry uh, holds a narrative that you know men they age like fine wine, but when it comes to women. You know, the more experience you have, the better actor you are. I mean, that's what my understanding of the craft is because इतने साल की समझदारी आप में आ जाती है तो चीजों को महसूस करने का, उन्हें इमोट करने का वो बेटर तरीका as an artist, as an actor होता है. So, do you think there is a certain problematic behavior with the way, uh, with the way industry treats our, treats our female artists? It isn't a problem only in uh, the Hindi film industry or the Indian film industries, the multiple film industries. It's a problem in uh, uh, film businesses across the world. Uh, but the narratives in other countries have changed very dramatically. For example, Meryl Streep is headlining projects. She is the central person in like an Iron Lady or in a Doubt or in um, uh, Mamma Mia or you know, whatever else she's done. There are women like Nicole Kidman who are, uh, you know, headlining films. There's Sandra Bullock. There's that narrative in India. That needle has not shifted enough in our country, and that needs to shift. And I hope that Rubaru will be part of 
taking the spotlight and turning it to that idea and saying, oh, well, you know what? Also, it's not just that your craft becomes better. It, it's, it's also that um, I think that your experience of life becomes richer. Your nuance, your understanding of the very nature of what are you portraying on screen? You're portraying life. Now you're a mother, so you know what motherhood is. I I, I, I played Tareza Zameen, but I was uh, 26 at the time that I did Tareza Zameen, but I was not a mother. But in me was the experience of if I was a mother, what kind of mother would I be? So that idea is is uh, is something that we need to understand that that women have all kinds of experiences stored up inside them and as you live life, those things come to fruition. And you will have many more narratives and many more stories, exciting, rich, uh, thrilling, scary, uh, romantic, all sorts of things happening. So, so uh, I was saying that, uh, you know, uh, in your uh, experience as an actor for over all these years, you have been in the industry for so long. Uh, did you at any point feel that, you know, there was a particular scene that you could have uh, perhaps executed better as a director if you were in, in, in a director's chair? <laughs> I never thought like that because I wasn't thinking of being a director. Uh, I've And I've had the opportunity to work with some of the finest. I've worked with uh, Amir Khan in his first film as a director. I've worked with uh, Sudhir Mishra. I've worked with Anup Singh. I've worked with uh, uh, Abhinay Deo. I've worked with so many fine, fine directors. It's really been a privilege to work with them. And some very wonderful new ones, Bornella Chatterjee. And so many, so many uh, wonderful, talented uh, directors so no i don't feel i feel that i'd be very blessed to work with some wonderful directors okay, okay. and uh, you know uh, uh, the credits of rubaru they you know uh, they show deepest uh, gratitudes uh, towards some of the you know uh, 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 biggest balance of this industry so if you could uh, you know walk me through like what were their contribution to this film uh, just brief if, if you could give us so anurag is uh, extremely dear to me he is one of those rare, rare people who uh, uh, is is a nurturer. He's an enabler. Yeah. And uh, uh, half of Yari Road exists because of him. Yeah. Uh, uh, people have learned as ADs, as uh, directors, as sound, as casting. And he's generously given of himself. And I'm not sure it's appreciated enough. It should be. Uh, he helped me tremendously with the edit of Google. He saw the film in a fully new way. Uh, and him and uh, my uh, two editors, Anand Singh and Konark, uh, wonderfully executed the film to its uh, final potential. Mm. And then Shakun Batra. Shakun is a very dear friend uh, from Chutney onwards to uh, Churi to Rubaru. He and I discussed the story uh, multiple times. And he, uh, you know, he was on his way to shoot when we were uh, shooting. He was going for a recce to Mud Island. I remember we met at a coffee shop at Yari Road with my AD team, and we discussed what he had to say and stuff like that. So these are generous enablers. They are wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, people who love story more than they love their ego. They don't want to hog the credit. They want the story to be set the stage. And I love that about them. Also, Anup Singh, who was my director in Kissa. And also, Dave Medikar, who directed me in Bioscope Wala. Uh, and also, I must uh, mention my wonderful team. Uh, uh, Vikram, who did my production design made the uh, the green room uh, so you've seen the film you've seen Guru. he created the green room he created the stage he created the steps uh, beautifully uh, my music uh, Raja wonderful guy who's worked with uh, Ritu Porno in uh, Kolkata and Shisha Re who uh, shot the film like a delicate hand and Vishwadi Chak who did the uh, sound design um, and every single uh, Arjun Mathur who brought so much of love to uh, the director's part Chitrashi Rawat, all the other actors, supporting actors, my AD team, just fabulously invested into the story and put, we worked hard it was just a four day shoot but we shot like it was like 10 days of work we did in four days so that was uh, enormous enormous uh, love and gifts that were given to me. Mm -hmm. 
so as an actor uh, ma'am you have the luxury of you know stepping into different uh, into the shoes of different characters be it you know a gray character or a negative character or a positive character uh, directors they don't necessarily come with uh, that vision because um, i mean what's a director without without a voice you know if, if you look at anurag kashyap he has a certain political voice uh, you look at uh, tarantino you know, he has a certain style of making films and i mean of course with every director on this planet so i want to know what's your uh, voice as, as a director what are the stories that you want to tell as a director it's interesting that you would ask that question because i don't think i'm uh, at a point where i have a voice as such i'm still sort of because it's my first film and it's a short film we have made two films called uh, jatni and churi before this um and guru is my directorial debut mm. so i i sense that uh, i have a deep interest in the underdog story mm. i also sense that i like to take expectations and subvert them i don't take your expectations and then come through on those expectations i take your expectations and flip it around and give you something that you were not expecting mm. i like uh, uh, twisted tales um sanjay my husband who has written the story of ruburu with me is a gifted storyteller mm-hmm. and namrata shinoy who wrote the screenplay is a very gifted uh, sculptor of screenplays mm-hmm. so each of these people uh, is going to be working with me on the next uh, project which is a feature film which i'm going to be directing sometime next year hopefully mm-hmm. um so yes that that is the sort of uh, ideas i like and let's see uh, because ruburu is very noir mm-hmm. yeah ஒரு <laughs> 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 to to leave it to your your interpretation it is uh, as you wish it yeah. uh, if you wish that uh, she uh, was seeing the other woman uh, uh, the dead uh, bola then yes and if you wish that she was just cooking a story to uh, get rid of her then yes so that, that that's the kind of story i like telling i like messing with your mind <laughs> Okay. So uh, we have reached with, uh, the end of this conversation. I would like to know: Is there some question that I may have missed asking, and you would have loved to answer, or anything that you have loved to talk about? So uh, please feel free to talk about it. No, I I'd love for everyone to go and see Ruburu. It's my first as a director. I've tried to show the. You always see actors with a kind of a mask when they're in a public space. So what I've done is I've tried to sort of open up the mask and show you what goes on inside. Of course, it's a fictional tale, but I think they will enjoy seeing. Uh, the inner life of an actor yeah yeah it's on youtube so people can go watch it now it's streaming mm-hmm. okay okay so uh, on that note thank you so much for talking to us this coming it was a pleasure and an honor being in your company and having a conversation with you i wish you all the best thank you all the best real pleasure thank you for your questions thank, thank you, you. Okay.